Welcome back crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Owl YouTube channel and today I am back with the first video in my clean and simple 4th of July card series. Yesterday I had a little video where I showed you some supplies that I might be using during these videos over the next few days and today I am ready to make my first one. So far what I think I'm going to need today are a piece of red, white, and blue cardstock. I also have red, silver, and blue sequins and my Tim Holtz star die. Along with these, I'll be using different adhesives and my cuddle bug as well. So let's go ahead and get started. originally cut my white piece to three and three quarters by five inches, but when I put it into the embossing folder, I realized it was going to be too wide to have the chevron stripes go all the way across it. So I did cut a smaller one, and then I went ahead and die cut my first star just right into that white piece. While I had my cuddle bug out, I decided to go ahead and cut my blue stars that I would need and I cut four of those for now. To help get the shape out of the die, I am just using a piercing tool gently on the holes in the back of the die. Next I grabbed a piece of clear cardstock and I am just cutting that down a little bit bigger than the blue star to adhere behind the die cut on the card and that is what is going to be my shaker window. Since these stars are so delicate and detailed, I wanted to use my Xyron to put adhesive on the back of them and this is going to help so every little bit sticks down. And when you use your Xyron, you always have to go over the clear lining with your fingers. And again, because these stars were so detailed, I used a dry embossing tool to just go around each little part of the star before I took the protective cover off. The first star that I place onto the card is going to be an inlay in the window that I cut for my shaker. And the others I'm just placing randomly around the card front, including having some hang off the edges. And you'll see me here in just a little bit, cut off the extra, and I decided to save the other parts for later in case I could use them on another card. it is time to pull out my large roll of double-sided foam tape. As I have mentioned before, this was a gift from my sister. She used to sell this in her crafting store. Unfortunately, the company she got it from is no longer in business. I did find something that I think is similar on Amazon, so I will link that product below. For my shaker window bits, I pulled out my small red and silver sequins. If I had this to do over, I would probably choose just regular size sequins because these ended up kind of falling to the bottom points of the stars and they kind of got hidden. Since 
I had to end up cutting my white piece smaller than I originally wanted to, I cut a blue mat to go behind that. Once I had the top layers onto the card base, I pulled out my two Celebrate Word dies and I decided on going with the larger one and I cut that in red. Again, to adhere the delicate die cut to the front of the card, I used a Xyron sticker maker. This is the one and a half inch one. And that is how I made the first card in my 4th of July series of clean and simple cards that I will be sharing this week on my channel. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you'll give me a thumbs up. If you would like to see more of my videos when I post them, including future 4th of July cards later this week, I hope you'll hit the subscribe button below if you're not already a subscriber. Thanks so much for watching today. I hope you're having a crafty day. Bye-bye.